subscribe tag tv youtube channel and press the notification button good evening welcome to south asia news line i'm yeshi chonzo Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Wednesday the 18th of August. Afghans in India fear for kin under Taliban rule PM Modi says will provide all possible help. Taliban leaders speak of bringing Afghans together following Kabul takeover. And CPN UML formally splits Madhav Kumar Nepal led faction registering new party. And now for all the details. Afghan students and refugees in India have expressed that they feel helpless and are worried for their families and loved ones back in Afghanistan as they fear the worst under the Taliban rule. Meanwhile, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi who chaired a meeting of the Cabinet Committee on Security on Tuesday said India will provide all possible help to Afghan brothers and sisters who are looking towards India for assistance. Afghan nationals studying in different colleges and universities across India on Wednesday said they were unable to focus on studies as they were worried for their families and loved ones back home after the Taliban seized control in Afghanistan. They said they cannot think of a future in Afghanistan. as the taliban known for running a brutal form of islamist government does not respect the literate people and violates basic human rights now their only priority is to complete education and settle in some other country they said that uh, you know afghan afghanistan is like it destroyed so you continue your education you try to be safe if it is possible after finishing your degree travel to another country and if it's possible you can uh, invite us or bring or bring us to that country that India is home to several thousand afghan refugees many of whom live in settlements across capital new delhi sheila sharif an afghan woman living in india since 7 years said that the taliban will not do anything immediately but will soon show true face filhal to talab chup hai कोई काम नहीं करेंगे क्योंकि बाहर लोग से डर है और अमेरिकन लोग उधर है थोड़ा डर लग रहा है कुछ नहीं करेंगे जब वो बाहर चलेंगे पर असली फिल्म का सनारियो शुरू हो जाएंगे पर देखो औरतों के साथ कैसा बुरा करेंगे और बूढ़ों के साथ और बच्चे के साथ क्या करेंगे मीन वाइल इंडियन प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी ऑन ट्यूजडे चेयर द मीटिंग ऑफ द कैबिनेट कमेटी ऑन सिक्योरिटी and said india will provide all possible help to afghan brothers and sisters who are looking towards india for assistance earlier in the day india airlifted hundreds of its citizens including embassy staff from kabul india has also introduced a new category of e visa for afghan nationals to fast track their applications for entry into india India added 35178 new coronavirus infections taking the total tally of covid-19 cases to 32.28 million while the national recovery rate improved to 97.52% the highest since march 2020 health ministry data showed on wednesday India added 35178 new coronavirus infections taking the total tally of covid-19 cases to 32.28 million on Wednesday while the national recovery rate improved to 97.52% the highest since March 2020 The active cases declined to 367,415, the lowest in 148 days, and comprise 1.14 percent of the total infections, the lowest since March 2020. The ministry said. The death toll climbed to 432,519, with 442 fresh fatalities. Cumulatively 560 million COVID-19 vaccine doses have been administered under the nationwide vaccination drive so far. 
Earlier on Tuesday, India's Health Minister Mansukh Mandavia visited Assam to review the COVID-19 surge in the northeastern states, which are contributing a significant portion of the new infections after Kerala, which is contributing half the load. Mandavia said that the centre has sanctioned a COVID-19 response package of Rs 23,000 crore for states across the country to combat the pandemic. Of this, a package of Rs 1,352.92 crore has been sanctioned for the eight northeastern states. In news from Afghanistan, Streets in Kabul appeared calm on Wednesday after the Taliban seized the Afghan capital with people out walking and traffic moving. On Tuesday, the Afghan Taliban held its first press conference since taking control of Kabul and said that it wants no enemies and intends to form an inclusive government following which evacuations from the country gathered momentum. Streets in Kabul appeared calm on Wednesday after the Taliban seized the Afghan capital with people out walking and traffic moving. Armed Taliban militants continued to patrol the streets of Kabul on Wednesday. As the group said, they want peace, will not take revenge against old enemies and would respect the rights of women within the framework of Islamic laws. <laughs> The Afghan Taliban on Tuesday said they wanted to bring Afghans together and ensure employment for women in all sectors. The Taliban announcement short on details but suggesting a softer line than during the rule 20 years ago came as the United States and Western allies evacuated diplomats and civilians the day after scenes of chaos at Kabul airport as Afghans thronged the airfield. Dr. Saib Abdullah, we are in the midst of the war. 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 We are in the midst of Afghanistan. We are in the midst of the war. 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 Despite the promises, thousands of Afghans, many of whom helped US-led foreign forces over two decades, are desperate to leave. As the Taliban consolidated power, one of their leaders and co-founders, Mullah Abdul Ghani Baradar, returned to Afghanistan for the first time in more than 10 years. A Taliban official said leaders would show themselves to the world unlike in the past when they lived in secret. In news from Pakistan, Pakistan People's Party Chairman Bilawal Bhutto Zardari has asked Prime Minister Imran Khan-led government to give up its terror appeasement policy and clarify its stance on the emerging Afghanistan situation following Taliban's takeover. He said the country cannot afford confusion and U-turns by Prime Minister Khan. PPP, the Pakistan People's Party Chairman Bilawal Bhutto Zardari on Tuesday asked Prime Minister Imran Khan-led government to give up its terror appeasement policy and clarify its stance on the emerging situation in neighbouring Afghanistan following the Taliban's takeover. Addressing a press conference in Karachi, Bilawal said that the Taliban should be warned that any activity inside Pakistan would not be tolerated and the Prime Minister should take the Parliament into confidence in this regard. He urged the National Action Plan against terrorism should be implemented with full might. The opposition party leader lashed out at PM Khan for taking U-turns every now and then and said any further confusion cannot be afforded as there are risks to Pakistan's peace and stability. نے ہر ایشو پہ خود ہر موقف اپنایا ہے اور بار بار خود یو ٹرنز لیتے ہیں اور اس کی وجہ سے ایک کنفیوشن پیدا ہوتا ہے ہم اس کنفیوشن کو اس وقت افورڈ نہیں کر سکتے ہیں مینوائل ایڈ ایلیگیشن فرام دی افغان پولیٹیکل لیڈرشپ انکلوڈنگ ولی سی جرگا سپیکر میر رحمان رحمانی میٹ ویڈ پاکستانی پی ایم عمران خان ان اسلام آباد آن ٹیوز ڈے The Prime Minister underscored the importance of all sides working to secure an inclusive political solution in Afghanistan, according to a statement by his office. According to reports, Pakistan, which enjoys considerable influence with Taliban, has decided that it would not recognize the Taliban government in Afghanistan unilaterally, but with the consent of regional and international powers. Moving on. 
Amid rising population and climate change, the availability of water is becoming worrisome in Pakistan. A massive water crisis has continued to afflict lives of people in country's largest city of Karachi due to a failed supply system and government negligence. Locals in Pakistan's Karachi city have been facing a massive water crisis, increasing severity with every passing day due to a failing distribution and supply system. With millions of inhabitants, Karachi is the largest city in Pakistan. But locals have long blamed its water distribution system is dysfunctional due to the government negligence. Water is only distributed through pipelines in half of the city. This shortage has led to the creation of water mafias which run hundreds of illegal pumping stations while the megalopolis faces absolute water stress. इस जैसे मैंने आपसे अर्ज किया कि पानी जो है वो नेशनल हाईवे के थ्रू आ रहा है पिपरी के थ्रू आ रहा है मतलब इस साइड से आ रहा है जिसको आप ईस्टर्न साइड कहते हैं तो वहाँ पे तो पानी अवेलेबल है लेकिन जब क्योंकि पूरा सिटी उसको कंज्यूम कर लेता है तो शॉर्टेज आपको जो मिलेगी इसकी मैक्सिमम शॉर्टेज जो मिलेगी आपको वो क्लिफ्टन में मिलेगी आपको श्री जिना के अंदर मिलेगी किमाड़ी में मिलेगी पोर्ट अथॉरिटी के पास आपको मिलेगी प्लस टी में आपको ज़्यादा शॉर्टेज मिलेगी उसकी बेसिक वजह यह है कि पूरा शहर जो है वो पानी कंज्यूम कर लेता है According to a report by the International Monetary Fund, Pakistan ranks third in the world among countries facing acute water shortage. Researchers predict that Pakistan is on its way to becoming the most water-stressed country in the region by the year 2040. Moving on to news from Nepal. CPN UML chairman KP Sharma Oli has removed 14 lawmakers including senior leader Madhav Kumar Nepal from party positions for defying party whips when Oli as prime minister had sought vote of confidence in the house in May Oli has also written to the parliament secretariat seeking their expulsion from the house following which Madhav Kumar Nepal is now preparing to register a new political party The CPN UML Communist Party of Nepal Unified Marxist Leninist fell into crisis after party chairman KP Sharma Oli on Tuesday recommended action against 14 lawmakers by removing them from the party including senior leader Madhav Kumar Nepal Oli also wrote to the parliament secretariat seeking their expulsion from the house following which Madhav Kumar Nepal is preparing to register a political party in a day or two reports suggest According to an Oli faction 14 lawmakers were removed from the House of Representatives and party positions for defying party whips on May 10 when Oli as prime minister had sought vote of confidence in the house. He said the party had sought clarification from the lawmakers for not showing up in the lower house of the parliament during the vote of confidence on May 10. Since the party found that their response was not satisfactory it decided to expel them as per the political party act. Leaders of the Nepal side say that there is no option than to register a new party as chairman Oli closed doors of unity in the party on Tuesday evening 30 central members held an internal discussion to stop the party split local media reported that Nepal is also not in favor of splitting the party if Oli is ready for unity A group of women in India's Uttar Pradesh state has boosted their household incomes through turmeric farming They work together for its cultivation and have assigned roles to each other in different processes involved in the business. A group of women in Gorakhpur district of India's northern Uttar Pradesh state has boosted their household incomes through turmeric farming and its sale. The self-help group of about 20 women was started by Sangeeta Rawat, a resident of Tivran village in Gorakhpur around 6 months ago. The women of the group cultivate turmeric at their homes and then boil and dry it in the sun. Later the turmeric is grinded and packed by them to sell it in market. Wo khet mein se haldi laate hain khanwa ke. Usko saaf ho kar ke usko ubalte hain, ubal ke usko kuch ke gham dhoop mein sukhwa ke aur uske baad se usko pishwate hain. Sangeeta said they have assigned roles to each other in different processes to market their product. They take it to various markets and sell it in packets of rupees 10 to 200. The group member said the collective effort has helped them not only in boosting their incomes but also made them feel empowered and self-reliant. 
Well, that's all we have for you from South Asia this evening. Now, our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on facebookcom Newsline and follow us on Twitter at AsiaNewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.